was great with Sydney and we had no idea, right? She was just coming for uh, the class and she actually probably have one of those tight tongue that is not part of the 5%. Because when she put her tongue out, it goes far enough. But if you pay attention, it's wide and she doesn't have a very sharp edge at the end. It's not a heart-shaped tongue but it's still something that you have a little bit of suspicion. She said that the only thing she knows is when she do yoga, the, her body is tight, you know, and it seems, you know, in the upper area, it's something that may be connected with the tightness of the tongue. So uh, the first test you want to do is to try to have your head in extension. Also, you know what we could do first is to look at her position just in front and compare after the little treatment and maybe put her on the side. She doesn't have a forward head posture, but we're just going to compare this position and this posture with the, um, the next uh, after treatment, okay? First thing, you can test head in extension and ask them to swallow. Is it easy to swallow? No. no. So that's another indication, right? So open your mouth, keep the jaw open and try to touch the palate with your tongue and see if you need a down and up. So it's okay, she doesn't move the, uh, the, uh, the jaw too much. Try to put your tongue and on the side and on the other side. And let's try to see how far she goes. Go on this side again. Yes, she got a little bit after the commission. I don't know if we'll see a difference after because she would have very a mild case in that case. It would be very hard to diagnose unless you really know uh, uh, ankyloglossia. But she may find some release in the neck, shoulder, I said even elbow, finger sometimes, lower back, diaphragm, she can breathe better. She could have uh, bare swallowing, bare phonation, uh, many different things. So how do you feel about your shoulder, your neck after the treatment? Yeah, more relaxed, more easy, fluid. Um better than before and I didn't know what was wrong before so what did you feel in your shoulder before tense I I, I didn't know why I, I as I said I try to do yoga to relax and stretch out but I, it seems like my shoulders were the problem area um, and now I I feel more perfect so and that's fantastic because we didn't know you had this problem yeah. and we just tried so let's turn rotate your head so you have a mild problem but we can see some changes do your rotation all as far as you can go rotate left and right to see if you can yeah it's much much better on the left and right we only work on the tongue really and mm -hmm. the larynx perfect put your tongue all the way outside Ooh, looks like you go we're going to compare if it's better and great so that's Super. just for a very very mild case that's never been diagnosed but it's just uh, interesting thank mm -hmm. you So yesterday we discovered we had a mild case of tongue tie with Sydney and it was amazing to see uh, what happened. We had little changes clinically, but let's hear what happened after 24 hours today. Um, yes, I had no idea what tongue tie was, uh, let alone that I would have it. Uh, I had a mild case and after the, the tests and the procedures yesterday, um, I felt more relaxed, um, refreshed, uh, my shoulders feel not as tight uh, towards my neck anymore and um, I even went home and asked my parents to do the tests and my mom was totally fine and my, my dad is actually very tongue-tied, not a mild case, um, so maybe he will have to come uh, um, yeah, release the, the pressure. <laughs> How's your breathing? Uh, it's more clear. Um, my chest feels more open and fluid uh, than before. Anything on your elbow or wrist? You went so far, you feel a rela relaxation there? My, my arms just feel uh, more straight and relaxed and um, yeah, less tightness throughout my entire arm. We'll check, but it seems like your shoulder, um, your clavicles are more horizontal. We'll check on that. And um, that's great. Huh? That was a great, perfect model. Thank you, Sydney. Yes. <laughs>